dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message today we are going to pray for tobacco consumption prevention in, in india every day 3000 people died due to tobacco consumption in india the taxes for tobacco especially cigarettes and beads is very less compared to developed countries world health organization recommends 75 percentage of tobacco taxes in india but indian government is not raising the taxes for tobacco products but due to tobacco consumption the health expenditure faced by union government and state government is eight times higher than whatever may be the revenue tax revenue which is collected from tobacco products so indian government should increase the tax for tobacco products to prevent and mitigate the tobacco consumption usage reference for this prophecy prayer point from 30 january 2023 hindu english in india over 186 million indians smoke almost a third of indians 57 percentage of all men and 11 percentage of all women consume some form of tobacco and many use more than one type of tobacco products 22.4 percentage of men in the age group of 15 to 54 years in the country are tobacco smokers BDs are the most popular tobacco product used in India. BDs account for nearly 85 percentage of the total smoked tobacco in India. Tobacco is one of the most prominent risk factors associated with cancer as well as many other diseases such as respiratory, stroke and heart attacks. Each year smoking hills more than 1 million Indians. High smoking rates impact the significant number of yearly deaths and high health care costs. Without any intervention, over 38 million weed smokers and 13 million cigarette smokers alive today will die prematurely from diseases caused by tobacco use. BD and sm- cigarette smokers die 6 to 10 years earlier than their non-smoking counterparts. Every day 3000 people 3500 people succumb to the use of tobacco. Tobacco use is the cause of nearly 3500 deaths in India every day which impacts human capital. There are various measures implemented by the government of India to address the tobacco burden including warning labels on tobacco products bans on advertising and promotion etc but despite these efforts the tobacco burden in India remains a significant public health challenge that requires continuing attention and action In 2017 the economic burden and health care expenses due to tobacco use and second hand smoke exposure amounted to rupees 2340 billion or 1.4 percentage of the gdp while india's average annual tobacco tax revenue stands at only rupees 537.5 billion the world health organization calculates tobacco use cost india's nearly 
30 billion US dollar annually in health care and lost productivity. For every 100 rupees received as excise taxes from tobacco products, tobacco consumption imposes 816 rupees in medical and other cost on society. India is among 182 countries which signed the World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control which recommends at least 75% tax on retail price of all tobacco products. However, in India, tax on cigarettes is only 52.7%, BD 22% and sewing tobacco 63.8 percentage. The tobacco industry attracts central excise duty, national calamity contingent duty, GST and compensation cess as it is in a sin code. In fact, a lot of revenues generated from the sale of tobacco for the Indian government. However, the tax burden levied on the Indian tobacco industry is not enough as per the recommendation of the World Health Organization for a minimum tax burden of 75 percentage on all tobacco related products. Research in India supports the use of taxes to regulate tobacco consumption. The most effective way to reduce tobacco use is to raise the price of tobacco through tax increases. Higher prices discourage youth from initiating cigarette smoking and encourage current smokers to quit. Studies of price elasticities in India find that a 10 percentage of increase in tobacco prices is estimated to reduce BD consumption by 9.1 percentage and cigarette consumption by 2.6 percentage. However, in India, Tobacco taxes have not increased significantly since the implementation of the goods and services taxation over 5 years ago, making these products increasingly affordable. Various researches shows that increasing tax by 10 percentage can reduce smoking by 8 percentage in middle income countries like India. More than 40 countries around the world have levied tobacco taxes at more than 75 percentage including our neighbors Sri Lanka 77 percentage and Thailand 78.6 percentage and our Bangladesh 75 percentage. Hiking tobacco taxes by 320 percentage between 1996 to 2013 helped the USA reduced its per capita annual consumption of cigarettes from 1822-893 cigarettes and cut the number of adults who smoke by about a third. In India, tax is levied based on the length of cigarettes which makes complexity of computing taxes. For example, if the size of the cigarette is under 65 mm, and its value is rupees 5 per unit, total tax on it under the new tax structure could be around rupees 3. While for cigarettes which is between 70 to 75 mm in size and its value is rupees 15 per unit, total tax of around rupees 6.5 could be levied on it. This means in the first case, the tax is about 60 percentage of the value while in the second case, the tax is about 45 percentage. The current six tiered tax structure for cigarettes is complex and creates opportunities for cigarettes companies to avoid taxes legally by manipulating cigarettes lengths and filters for similarly named brands. Instead, the tiered system should be eliminated or reduced to two tires which can then be phased out over time to have a single tire. The number of BD smokers in the country is more than double that of cigarette smokers but the union budget 2023 was completely silent on any tax revisions on BDs or smokeless tobacco 
which are consumed by most indian tobacco users notably bds are the only tobacco products without a compensation cess under gst despite being just as harmful as cigarettes this lack of a cess on bds has no public health rationally the economic arm of rss has been urging the government to reduce taxes on bds to reduce the burden on the workers whose livelihoods depend on the industry the swadeshi jagran manch only recently insisted that bds be kept out of the purvi of the proposed amendments to the cigarettes and other tobacco products act as a hike in tax on bds will cost the livelihood of lakhs of workers engaged in the industry and may even push many of them into naxalism there is a large discrepancy in taxation between tobacco products despite cigarettes accounting for only 15 percentage of tobacco taxes they generate 80 percentage or more of tobacco taxes bds and smokeless tobacco have low taxes encouraging consumption taxes should be made more consistent across all tobacco products as none is more or less harmful than the others the main principle behind tobacco taxation should be in protecting the public health gst currently exempts small businesses with less than rupees 40 lakh annual turnover mainly smokeless tobacco and bds manufacturers operate in the informal sector which reduce the tax base on these products the gst rates on certain smokeless tobacco ingredients such as tobacco leaves dendu leaves petal leaves erica nuts etc have either 0 or 5 to 18 percentage of gst it is important that all products that are exclusively used for tobacco making are brought under the uniform 28 percentage of the gst slab this will generate the right public health message that all tobacco products are bad and their consumption needs to be discouraged revenue earned through tobacco consumption taxation should be invested for providing alternative jobs to poor and tribal people associated in tobacco related business over years the tobacco taxes in india are not adjusted to inflation and hence their affordability in the price adjusted to inflation increased over the years this has made all tobacco products highly affordable over year ever since the introduction of the gst regime in 2017 the wholesale price index of many commodities have has gone up the well do the wholesale price index of kerosene has witnessed a jump of 300 percentage petrol by 126 percentage lbg by 111 percentage fruits and vegetables by 30 percentage and meat and egg by 29 percentage but wholesale price index on cigarettes witnessed a mere 16 percentage jump making it more affordable in relative terms in india the gst rate on cigarettes and tobacco products is at 28 percentage the government collected central goods and services tax worth 19328 crore in financial year 2022 from the suppliers of tobacco products the current gst system for tobacco taxation in india has features that are in hindering efforts in regulating consumption one issue is the overuse of ad valorem taxes which are not effective in reducing consumption many countries use a specific or mixed tax system for harmful products the gst system in india relies more on ad valorem taxes than the pre gst system which primarily use specific excise taxes many countries with the gst or value added tax also apply an excise tax on tobacco products in india the share of central excise duty in tobacco taxes decreased substantially from pre gst 
to post gst for cigarettes 54 percentage to 8 percentage bd 17 percentage to 1 percentage and smoke loss tobacco 59 percentage to 11 percentage a large part of the compensation chess as well as the national calamity contingent duty or nccd currently applied on tomoko products is specific if specific taxes are not revised regularly to adjust for the inflation they lost their value inflation indexing should be made mandatory for any specific tax rates applied on tobacco products Tobacco taxation policy is the most effective strategy for tobacco control and has the ability to affect consumption, prevalence and affordability. Higher prices of tobacco products can promote cessation and prevent initiation among young people. So the need for development of comprehensive tax policy for tobacco products to make them progressively less affordable over time by indexing tax increasing on tobacco products to inflation. A simplified tax structure that uniformly taxes all tobacco products from the organized and unorganized sectors will have the greatest public health benefits for both consumers and the government. GST Council should increase taxes at least 75 percentage of tax on retail price of all tobacco products in India. Amen. Bible talks about tobacco consuming in Exilias chapter 7 verse 15 to 18. I have seen everything in the days of my futility. There is a just man who perishes in his righteousness and there is a wicked man who prolongs his life in his wickedness. Do not be too righteous, neither be overly wise. Why should you destroy yourself? Do not be too wicked, neither be foolish. Why should you die before your time? It is good for you to grasp the one and not to let your hand go from other. For he who fears God will depart from all extremes. Bible so, kindly pray and prophecy in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that all products that are exclusively used for tobacco making are brought under the uniform 28% of GST slab, including BDs by this year 2023, and GST Council should levy up to 75% of tax on all retail price of tobacco products in India to promote cessation of tobacco consuming as per World Health Organization advocacy to reduce economic burden on tobacco consuming health care expenses to union and state governments. And inflation indexing should be made mandatory for GST tax rates applied on tobacco products on every year as per wholesale price index and the current six tiered tax structure for cigarettes should be phased out over time to have a single tire by financial year 2025 to mitigate 3500 deaths per day owing to tobacco consumption by tobacco cessation policy deployment in India. Amen.